Hi, in the previous tutorials we've been looking at different types of loops. We've looked at the for loop, we've looked at the while loop, and we also looked at the do while loop. Okay, so um, hopefully if you've watched those tutorials you're pretty familiar with how those loops work now and you've um, tried making some of those loops yourself in your own code. Uh, in this tutorial we'll look at how to break a loop, so how to um, stop a loop from running if a certain condition is met and also how to skip an iteration of a loop and, and then continue the loop after skipping an iteration. So to start with, I'm going to just create a simple for loop with a counter and the counter, um, which is going to be called, this is going to be the variable i, um, that counter is going to begin at zero and the condition will be um, while the counter is less than a certain number, it will um, maybe run some code and then if a condition is met it will break the loop otherwise the loop will keep running so the count will increase by one for each iteration so what I'm going to do is create a for loop firstly so for okay the counter will be dollar sign i that's going to be the variable there so dollar sign i for the counter variable which will be set to zero alright um, then a semicolon then the condition will be i is less than um, say 10 okay and then lastly um, we'll increment increase the i variable by one so i plus plus all right so that's our um, that's our counter there initialized to zero uh, that is the condition that's being tested and that's the um, increment okay so then we're going to put the curly braces in all right, now what we could do is just say um, echo dollar sign i, and then we might add a line break as well, tag for that, um, oops, just in quotation marks. So that what will happen is um, the loop will start at zero, the count will be zero. If it's less than 10, which it is to begin with, then it's going to display that value, make a new line, um, increase uh, I by one and then the loop will repeat again and again until I becomes 10. So I'll save that and I'll go into Chrome and just load up that page. All right, so it displays 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, so that works. What we're going to do now though is we're going to use um, a break. All right, so we're going to break this loop. We're going to stop it from running. And in order to do that, we need a condition. All right. So above this echo statement, we're going to add a condition. And the condition can just be something like, for this example, um, if i is equal to 8. Okay? All right. So if i is equal to 8, then we're going to break the loop. And all you have to do is write break. All right? Now, this isn't a very useful um, loop, and it's... Um, not very, it's not very useful just to put if i is equal to 8 then break the loop, but this is just to show how it works and how you can break the loop. So you might have a different condition um, in your loop um, that is a bit more useful. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna, I've saved that, I'm going to refresh the page, and now what you can see is it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, and then um, because in the code we've got if i is equal to 8, it's going to break the loop. So after it displays 7, all right, so it does echo i, the last value will be 7, adds a line break, and then it goes back, checks the condition again. Um, but i has been increased to 8. So now that it's equal to 8, it's going to break the loop and it won't run that code inside the loop. All right, so that's what's happened there. As soon as i becomes 8, it breaks the loop, but it never actually displays eight here because um, seven or i is increased to eight at the end of the loop, and a condition is run which checks whether it's equal to eight, and it breaks the loop before the rest of the code inside that loop actually gets to run. All right. Um, so basically, that's how to break a loop. Next thing that we'll look at is how to skip an iteration of a loop. So we'll keep the code the same, 
But this time I'm going to um, pick a different number. So I'm going to say if i is equal to five, and then I'm going to say continue instead of break. So what this will do is basically, it'll do the same thing as before. So it will start from zero, it will um, loop around, it'll go zero, one, two, three, four. And as soon as it gets to five, it will skip it. All right, so it will skip that iteration of the loop and then it will come back and continue the rest of the loop after that iteration. So we'll save and then we'll refresh the page and you can see what happens there. It goes zero, one, two, three, four. It gets to five, so it skips it and then continues the loop after skipping that iteration. So then it goes six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so continue. Um, it will continue the loop after skip, skipping an iteration. All right, um, in, the, in that example. So continue just continues the loop. Look, we've used it there to skip an iteration of the loop. Okay, um, what we could do now is we could skip any even numbers. Um, or any odd numbers. We'll try something different. All right, so um, what we might do is keep the for loop exactly the same. So we won't change anything there, but we might change the if statement a little bit. Okay, so we'll keep using continue, but we're going to skip, for this example, we're going to skip any iteration of the loop where it's an even number. All right, so the condition this time is going to be dollar sign i and we're going to use a percent sign for modulus and then two all right so if you're not sure what this um what the percent sign is for then you need to go back to one of the previous tutorials where we looked at things like addition subtraction multiplication division and then modulus okay so the modulus um, or percent symbol will just will return the remainder um, from, it usually returns a remainder from division. So what we're going to do is dollar sign I percent sign or modulus two is equal to zero if it's equal to zero. All right. So what this is saying is if you take the variable I and take its value and divide it by two and you get a remainder of zero, then it's going to skip that iteration of the loop and then continue. All right. So in other words, if it's an uh, even number, it's going to skip that iteration. All right. Um, so let's test that. Let's try it out. We'll refresh the page. And there we go. So it skips zero and then it goes one, three, five, seven, nine. So it's skipped all of the even numbers. All right. So that that is a method that you can use to um, skip even numbers or to find out if a, if a number is um, odd. All right. And then the way that we could skip odd numbers is just change that from equal to to not equals to. All right. So this time if we save and refresh, it goes 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So it skips all the odd numbers and just displays the even ones. All right. Um, so that's basically how to break a loop, how to use continue um, to skip iterations of a loop, and then trying something different using the modulus symbol to find out if a number is odd or even, and then if it's even to skip, skip that iteration, and if it's odd to skip that iteration. Okay, um, so that's break and continue. Thanks for watching.